So this morning we're working on a horse that has a history of uh, partial tooth extraction some time ago, uh, like a year ago or, or longer. Um, and then just recently she started presenting with a, a sinusitis that's gotten better with antibiotics. Uh, but she doesn't always have drainage. And that's something that I think a lot of people don't always realize is not every sinus infection has to cause drainage in horses, especially the ones that are more chronic sometimes don't have any drainage at all because what happens is the pus can become really dry and almost crusty and look like like philadelphia cream cheese so it can be almost like where you take cream cheese and turn it upside down it doesn't leak out or fall and it's similar there the more acute type of sinus infections they generally drain um, and there's sometimes liquid sinusitis where there is a lot of pus within the sinus that's liquid but the nasal max maxillary aperture that drains the sinuses can become so inflamed that it's swollen uh, shut and so we don't get drainage there either so um, one of the clues for all this is is look just trying to smell that area and if the nostril still smells bad then you really can't it's a good idea to investigate it so here we took a radiograph we'll show you the x-ray we can see where we have the remaining tooth roots uh, so that's what we're going to have to take out and then we can also see some opacity up here in the rostral maxillary sinus and then we'll come over and we'll show you guys here we have Dr. Leducer who's doing transnasal sinoscopy right now we're in the the middle meatus uh, and you can see this dried looking pus now this horse here doesn't have any discharge currently uh, it's gotten better with the antibiotics and so the temptation would be to think, oh, okay, well, the discharge is gone, we're, we're good, uh, but no, we still have infection, just no discharge. So uh, that's, that's something to keep in mind with, with these types of cases. Now, as far as the options, sometimes if it's really chronic, you end up having to do sinus surgery. There's multiple approaches for that, depending on the situation. Or like in this case, we have a really small four millimeter um, endoscope and we can do what's called tra transnasal sinoscopy uh, where we actually go in through the nose and try and access the sinuses and flush it out that way. The advantage of that is there's no surgical opening, the recovery is faster, uh, can be done with a horse standing and sedated. Even if the horse needs sinus surgery, that's we always do them standing uh, sedated. Some people prefer to lay them down. Um, but it can be done standing. That helps a little bit with the, with the bleeding. But in this case, hopefully we can get everything resolved just by going in through the nostril without ever having to make an opening.